The description that's on the screen right now says it's a 20 foot by 12 foot Georgian summer house, but to be quite honest, it's the man cave. Um, the guy wanted somewhere to have a pool table, a bar, a telly, somewhere to call his own space, and his missus had a big hand in uh, deciding how it was going to look. So the biggest problem that we had with this one was the concrete base that was there. You can see it's quite a substantial base, but it's not flat. So to get around it, what we've done, we've put down uh, four by two tantalised uh, timber floor frames, and we're just levelling them up there on uh, on temporary legs, just to make sure that it is all nice and level. And then we go through and put a series of legs underneath it. Now these legs are all the cuts are exactly the right size for their location, and then they're glued and screwed into place. And there's over sixty legs that have gone into this. But considering the guy wants to put a pool table in there, it needs to have a lot of legs there. So once the frame is in, the legs are all glued and screwed in position, then we'll go over it with 18mm exterior plywood. Now by doing this, it means that the guy hasn't had to have all that concrete taken out. That would be a considerable expense. So we've got around it a lot, lot cheaper by putting down the floor frame and levelling it all up for him. So the body on this shed is X 19mm uh, tongue and groove. It finishes roughly 16mm. It's a redwood tongue and groove and it's a sub furnished grade. It's a fifth grade or better Scandinavian redwood. We like to use the redwood basically because the redwood takes treatment better than whitewood does and it doesn't have as much movement in it as whitewood. That's why we don't use the whitewood. It's, um, you'll hear it referred to as either uh, whitewood pine or spruce. We just won't use the spruce, it's horrible. Um, so once the uh, body of the shed's up, the roof beam goes in. The roof beams are four by two. They're running from front to back, as you can see, and they extend beyond the front to give us that nice little canopy, takes the flatness off it. So the roof beams are in, the roof sections are on top of it and we'll go through and we nail every plank down to every beam so that roof isn't going to move the roof on this is having a felt shingle roof on it the red ones so the felt shingles are, are going on we use stainless steel staples to hold it down the first row we put down uh, back to front so it gives it a, a, a nice drip off the bottom and we'll just go through put all the uh, all the shingles on it's quite a long job. Uh, you don't see it on this video, but we do finish it off using wood capping to the top and at the side. You see David there, he's going down, he's um, putting the sealant over the joins and then that sealant gets a capping over the top of it. And there you go. That's uh, a 20 foot by 12 foot Georgian Summer House shed.